when you bring up a VM with Vagrant, it gets an IP address also. And that IP comes from the NAT network interface. But if you want your VM to be connected to your physical network, then you can do so by doing bridge network. Whereas bridge network is a concept from virtual box or Oracle virtual box. It's a virtualization concept, but we'll see how we can do it through Vagrant, which is very easy. So when you bring up the VM, your VM will get a virtual NIC, virtual network interface that will be connected to virtual box NAT network. And you will have IP similar in this range 10.0, something like that. This is virtual box NAT network. So this bigger rectangle over here shows your laptop and this rectangle, which is in light brown color or dark brown color is your virtual machine. So let's see that really with an example, let's go into our VM directory, D drive Vagrant Ubuntu. My Ubuntu VM is already up. So I'm going to bring it up. It's created. I'm just going to power it on Vagrant up and wait for a few minutes. So while it is coming up, you can see it is connected to adapter one NAT. So VirtualBox will create its own network, a virtual network, whereas you bring up VM, it will be connected to that network and your VM will get IP address from that virtual network created from VirtualBox. And that's a private network, internal network. While this is coming up, let me also bring up CentOS 7, which we will need in a moment. So I'm opening another Git bash prompt. We'll go into D drive Vagrant CentOS 7 and say Vagrant up. Now VM, we did destroyed this VM CentOS 7 in previous session. So Vagrant up is going to create it once again. So let it do that. And now by the time our Ubuntu VM is up, let's clear the screen and do a login Vagrant SSH. Okay, we're logged in. I'm going to switch to the root user by running the command sudo i. And I'm going to run the command ifconfig. This command will show me list of network interfaces. So here I see ENP0S3. This is the virtual network interface. You see there adapter one, the same one. And it has the IP address 10.0.2.15. This is connected to NAT network. And this IP address is not routable on our physical network. What I mean is if I open my command prompt and I check my laptop's IP address, IP config. So I recommend you do the same exercise. Check, open the command prompt on IP config. You'll see your laptop's IP. So my laptop IP is 192.168.1.20 which I got from the Wi-Fi router or the physical router here on my network. And that IP and the VM's IP, these are two different IPs. They are both in a different network. My laptop is in a different network and VM is in a different network. VM's is its NAT network. It's a virtual network. So from my laptop, if I want to connect to this VM or from any other computer in my network, I want to connect to this VM. It's not possible. So for that, I need to give a bridge network, bridge interface. So we know this laptop or, this, or your computer gets IP. Here you see the IP from the router, Wi-Fi router or your DSCP system in your network. By default, the DSCP server will be in your Wi-Fi router or in your router in your network and your computer will get IP address from it. Like here you see. 192.168.1.25. I've got it from the Wi-Fi router, which is 192.168.1.1. This is the router's IP. And the VM gets an IP address from the virtual box NAT network. So they are in both in different network. Where else what I can do is I can use a bridge network concept and I can connect my VM's virtual network interface card to the Wi-Fi router directly by doing a bridge connection from my network adapter. So every computer has a network adapter, the ethernet network adapter or the wireless network adapter for your windows machine. 
you can open your network settings network status go to ethernet change adapter options and there's so many virtual network also okay here you see this is the ethernet network adapter and this is the wi-fi network adapter wireless network adapter check its name intel centrino advanced n6205 the ethernet adapter name is some number lm gigabyte network connection so this is my laptops my computers a network adapter correlate that with the diagram ethernet or wi-fi you must be connected to both or any one network adapter so that's the ethernet adapter or wireless adapter over here that is connected to the wi-fi router you get a, your computer gets ip address on that from your wi-fi router or your dscp server bridge connection what bridge connection will do it will bridge your virtual network interface card of your vm with the router in your physical network and it will use your network adapter as the bridge and in that case when the vm comes up this network adapter will get an ip address from the wi-fi router or the dscp server in your network so it will have the ip which is going to be in the same range as your laptop's ip like you see here 192.168.1.26 so this is the concept of bridge network your vm gets ip address from the router in your physical network that's bridge network you know complex the situation but doing it is really very simple with vagrant and we'll just do that now so let's open our git bash i'm already logged in here in my vm let me exit from here okay so all we need to do is you have to edit the vagrant file of the vm to set up the bridge network you can do that using the vim command which will open this vagrant file in vim editor or you can use notepad plus plus also so better let's do that through notepad plus plus let's go to a d drive so i'm going to do it with for the ubuntu 16 vm let's open that vagrant file into notepad plus plus and all you need to do is look for the setting where it says config.vm.network public network this is what bridge network means this line and you have to simply uncomment it uncomment this line and then you can save it click there on save see file is saved so let's open our git bash you can check the vagrant file that is already saved this line is uncommented here that's good now i have made change into the vagrant file my vm is already up and running and to apply the changes that i have made to the vagrant file i have to reboot the vm with the command vagrant reload this command will reboot the vm and will, while it's booting up it's going to apply the new changes and that's the new change public network okay now let's keep the virtual box right there that's ubuntu 16 vm it has adapter 1 nat and when i do reload it's going to power off this this vm bring it bring up the vm and we'll also have one more adapter over here so it's not going to change the existing editor adapter 1 a nat adapter is the default adapter for vagrant we do not change this we don't make any changes to this if you remove this network adapter from this vm manually then vagrant commands won't work so keep it as it is just add an extra network okay you see it's coming up now you have adapter 2 which is connected to your network interface it's a bridge adapter so by default your vm's virtual network interface will connect to your laptop's network interface which is active you see that name intel 8579 blah 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 gigabyte network connection and you'll see that here that's the network interface where it's using to for the bridge okay so vm is, is up it has got connected with two it has two new network adapter 
but one new actually one is the older one let's log into the VM and check its IP address logged in inside I'm going to run the command I have config okay now you see there this is the NAT one and this is the bridge at net adapter the second adapter adapter 2 it has the IP address 192.168.1.28 open the command prompt and check our laptop's IP IP config 192.168.1.20 both the IPs are in the same range because they are in from the same network that is the physical network so that proves this diagram we already had NAT net, uh, NAT net connection NAT interface which got the IP in 10 dot series we have created a bridge network bridge interface which is getting the IP from the Wi-Fi router or in my case it's coming from the Ethernet adapter directly connected to the physical router then if I have that IP I don't need to connect it through Vagrant SSH I can do it from anywhere I can just do SSH to it from okay let's log in back D drive I grant Ubuntu 16 so I can do SSH from other places also but for that I need to set up a user in that so let's add a user yeah you'll think of using a vagrant user but you know let's create another user because there are few things that I'm going to segregate create a user named as DevOps with some password and we have to enable password based login so open up this file etc ssh sshd underscore config find a setting called as password authentication that one password authentication it says no let's change it to yes let's restart ssh service service ssh restart if it's a CentOS machine then it's SSH D the service name for Ubuntu it's just SSH let's exit okay now I can be anywhere and log into that machine with that user DevOps at the rate and the IP address 192.168.1. Oh, I really did not take the note of that IP address let's log in to that VM again So I have config 1.28. Okay. Again, let's exit. Uh, let's go to any other place. Okay. SSH DevOps, that's the user that we created at the rate the IP 192.168.1.28. It will ask the password. Enter the password. Now, if you have not enabled password authentication, okay, if you're logged in. If you have not enabled the password authentication in the SSD config file, then it will throw you an authentication error. We can even use putty. Let's download putty. Download putty. Let's download the executable 64 bit. And I can enter the IP here 192.168.1.28, which will do SSH to my VM. So, yes, give the username DevOps, give the password, and logged in. Now I can use that bridge IP from anywhere not only from my laptop but from any other computer in the in my network in my physical network I can use that IP and connect to this VM that's the benefit of bridge network okay now let's do a quick recap of what we did but through CentOS 7 so let's go to the directory vagrant CentOS 7 oh sorry it's not in C drive we have it on D drive Migrant CentOS 7 
let's open our vagrant file this time through vim and find the entry config.vm.network public network uncomment that line uncomment means remove that hash save and quit wq and say vagrant reload okay vagrant reload which will that vm which will power off this vm bring up a vm bring up this vm again with the second adapter which will be connected to bridge network so i'm going to pause the video for a few minutes and come back when it's done okay vm is up let's log into it okay let's be the root user and command is different in centos 7 to check the network interface its ip address show and the network interface names will be also different eth0 eth1 so eth0 that's your adapter one there eth1 is the bridge you see the ip 192.168.1.31 let's do similar thing let's add the user here also user add devops let's set a password for this user and let's enable password authentication to log in with the password you have to make this change in AMIs oh, sorry in images or boxes this will be by default off so you need to turn it on and then you can restart the SSHD service okay now we can open putty Enter the IP 192.168.1.31. Hit enter. Say yes. Give the username and enter the password and logged in. Again, any computer in my network can use that IP address and connect to my VM. Alright, so we proved our point here. If it's too much complicated to understand just remember this the bridge network which is called as public network in vagrant they takes or get IP address from your Wi-Fi router or from your physical router simple which we will need in so many further sessions that note we are going to end this session thank you for watching I will see you in the next one